As we all know, the Ultramarines are the poster boys for the Space Marine Army, in the same way the Cadians are for the Astra Militorum, or the Crimson Slaughter for the Chaos Space Marines. While the Ultramarines have some interesting lore about them, including multiple book series and a video game, some people might consider them a bit vanilla when compared to other chapters. And sometimes they can act like a Mary Sue within the lore. I wonder why. This video isn't a rant about why I don't like the Ultramarines. However, I thought of starting a conversation with you guys about what if a different chapter was picked to become the poster boys for the Space Marines. While this might not happen, it's an interesting topic. So, here are my thoughts. One chapter that I have in mind are the Blood Ravens chapter from the Dawn of War games. This chapter is quite popular in the community, and they are unique when compared to other chapters because of their abundance of psychers and of their probable connection with the Thousand Suns Legion. However, because they are already used to represent the Dawn of War games, it is not likely that Games Workshop will use them to represent their Space Marine models. Plus, there isn't a reason why a chapter from three games and a few cameos should represent the Space Marine product, considering that the Ultramarines have been around ever since Rogue Trader. But there is a chapter that has been around with the Ultramarines ever since the first edition rulebook, and were used to represent the game. The Crimson Fissus. This chapter was used for the cover of the first edition rulebook, where one of the 12 Space Marine chapters that are mentioned in the book. This includes the Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Rainbow Warriors, Flesh Terrors, Blood Drinkers, Iron Hands, Raven Guard, Flesh Eaters, Silver Skulls, Space Wolves, and the White Scars. But why should a chapter from an old rulebook represent the Space Marines? Well, let's consider this. A year ago, Games Workshop re-released a model that looks similar to the old models from Rogue Trader, and the colors chosen for the model was from the Crimson Fist chapter. And recently, from a special issue of White Dwarf magazine, its cover, and the poster that came with it, depicts a squad of Space Marines from the Crimson Fist chapter fighting against an army of orcs on a hill of skulls. This scene is identical to the cover used in the first edition rulebook. Even though the Crimson Fists don't have much lore about them when compared to the Ultramarines, or as much of an impact, maybe they can be used as a poetic way of having the first ever chapter be used to represent the Adeptus Astartes, similar to how the favorite son of the Emperor became the arts traitor of the Imperium. What do you guys think? Do you think the Crimson Fists should represent the Space Marines, or do you think it should stay with the Ultramarines? And what is your favorite Space Marine chapter? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.